We offer the complete multi-diagnostic platform, whether it be uh, OCTs with autofluorescence or multicolour. Our claim to fame now is that we've just actually launched into space. NASA, working with the European Space Agency, have uh, launched uh, a Spectralis to uh, basically examine the astronauts' eyes on the International Space Station. Uh, it'll be docking on June the 15th uh, with the idea that the uniqueness of the Spectralis having the auto-rescan function, they can scan the astronauts while they're in space and then rescan them on a different machine but with the same parameters when they come back down to Earth uh, to see uh, if there are any ocular um, risks in spaceflight. We are the only ones that really are offering this kind of live dual beam eye tracking. That is the most important thing because the last thing uh, when NASA were looking at things we're looking at uh, in terms of doing OCT scans was they just don't want to have all this information and they can't really see if there's any changes and it's all about change with um, not just the company with us, but obviously with the product. Um, it's just all about monitoring the smallest amount of change. Quite a lot of things coming this year. Uh, in terms of, we've now gone into the realm of uh, wide field imaging, um, which is obviously becoming more and more important. We're actually going up to around about 100 degrees, um, but obviously this is an undilated eye using confocal um, scanning laser thermoscopes, and that means that we can get down to a very, very small pupil, uh, and it can be done invasively, there's no contact whatsoever. And also in terms of setting the buy high for new parameters in glaucoma screening, uh, because we realise that um, a lot of the pharmaceutical industries push more retinal diseases, but the glaucoma division is still um, something that, you know, um, retail optometry opticians hold close to them as a complex disease. So we're going to be pushing out a brand new glaucoma parameter, which is going to redefine uh, how you look at glaucoma.